The variety of modern HUD hatchbacks might be shrinking, but at least those models that still exist are constantly getting hotter. Today we'll revisit this topic once again to cover all of the newly announced models of 2021. These bucket rockets are setting new benchmarks for the segment, and they're getting more and more loaded with groundbreaking technologies. Before we begin, subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News not to miss the upcoming announcements of the car world. Let's start the engines. VW Golf R and GTI Club Sport The 8th generation of Golf spawns two legitimate hot hatchbacks that can put to road at least 300 horsepower. The most significant introduction is the flagship VW Golf R8 that will be making a return to the S shores. In its case, the turbocharged n line 4 cylinder makes 315 horsepower and 310 pound feet. The Midas Channel 3 6 speed manual or a 7 speed automatic to all four wheels via the new 4 motion all wheel drive system with active torque vectoring rear differential. As for the exclusive GTI Club Sport model, it arrives 300 horses strong with a front wheel drive and a 7 speed dual clutch automatic. The newcomers also have distinguishable interiors with appropriate batching, stitching, and ambient LED lighting. Plus, they feature new digital dashboards and 10 inch infotainments. Hyundai i30N Hyundai's original hot hatch is on a mission of broadening the ranks of enthusiasts by sporting a new performance-focused design, shedding 32 pounds, and adding an automatic transmission. The grille grows larger and gets airplane wings-like pattern, plus the reshaped LED headlights come with the new V-shaped DRL signature. As before, the Hyundai i30N is powered by a single-option 2-liter turbo four-cylinder that makes 250 or 280 horsepower in the performance package. This time, however, the 6-speed manual tranny could be traded for an 8-speed wet dual clutch and DCT that adds three new and performance driving modes. The aforementioned weight reduction comes from the five double-spoke forged alloy wheels and new monoform high-performance sports seats. Last but not least is the introduction of richer SmartSense Active Safety and an optional 10.25-inch touch display. Mazda 3 2.5 Turbo Despite getting a comprehensive overhaul with more attractive styling and even optional all-wheel drive in 2019, Mazda 3 has not managed to attract plenty of new customers and generate substantial revenue for the brand in the US. Likely for this very reason, the Japanese manufacturer is trying to boost the appeal of the hatchback by making it hotter and sportier. In 2021, the model arrives with a 2.5-liter turbocharged engine that makes up to 250 horses and 320 pound-feet, which would distribute it to all four wheels through a six-speed automatic gearbox. The Mazda 3 Turbo offers two arrow kit options, and it can be equipped with new 18-inch glass black forged wheels by BBS. All of the turbo-powered models also boast above-standard interior equipment, including an 8.8-inch center display, heated seats, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, and a 12-speaker Bose audio system. BMW 128Ti this is the second quickest model in the BMW 1 Series range that is offered exclusively in the front-wheel drive configuration and it is 176 pounds lighter than the flagship M135. The hot hatch boasts a specially tuned M Sport suspension, Torsen Limited slip differential and a 2-liter twin-power turbo four-cylinder that outputs 265 horsepower through the 8-speed ZF automatic transmission. With this setup, the 128Ti demonstrates lively acceleration, reaching 60 miles per hour in 6.1 seconds. On the outside, the hatchback's sporty nature is highlighted by some appropriate tread trim elements around the air intakes and on the side skirts. There are 18-inch alloy wheels with sticky Michelin Pilot Sport tires and blacked-out mirror caps. The interior of this model 
paints the same picture of blood red beauty with supportive sports seats. Cupra Leon Still closely related to its sad sibling, the new generation performance enhanced Leon proudly wears Cupra badging, gets the brand's unmistakable styling, and offers several high power engines to choose from. First, there is a plug in version of the hatch. It combines efforts of a 1.4 liter engine, an electric motor, and a 13 kWh battery pack. The system is good for 35 miles WLTP and 0 to 60 acceleration of 6.7 seconds. Later in the year, customers will be able to opt for a 245 HP 2.0 liter TSI or even a 300 horsepower version of the same mill. Inside, the cabin is wrapped in sharp upholstery fabric or genuine leather with plenty of Cooper signature copper accents. But there are also standard bucket seats, a sports steering wheel, plus a 10 inch digital cockpit and infotainment. Toyota GR Yaris Rejoice those drivers who missed an opportunity to snatch a supercharged GRMN limited edition version of the Yaris. A slightly less potent but just as exciting as the racing version of the car will be going on sale across European, Japanese and Australasian markets. The major highlight of this hatch is the world's most powerful production three-cylinder engine, excluding the Gimira, of course. In case of the Toyota GR Yaris, the turbocharged 1.6-liter gives out 261 horsepower and 266 pound-feet of torque. The pinnacle of driving thrills is achieved via controlling this bucket rocket with a six-speed manual that channels power to the all-wheel drive and two Torsen Limited Slip differentials. The GR Yaris rides on the newly developed double wishbone rear suspension and the McPherson strut front suspension. It has three driving modes, can sprint to 62 and 5.5 seconds, and has 144 mph top speed. Hyundai Veloster N Three-door hat hatchbacks might be a dying breed, but Hyundai still prefers to keep its performance lineup fully stocked. So the i20N and i30N models are accompanied by a fully charged Velosto Coupe. In 2021, the company widens the target audience of this model by optionally equipping it with a new 8-speed wide dual clutch transmission. The company developed unit has an n current shift mode that allows for a temporary overboost and increases the peak torque output of the 2-liter turbo by 7% to 278 pound-feet. This extra torque allows the Veloster N to speed to 60 half a second faster, taking 5.6 seconds. Other changes this year include lighter sports seats, added driver's assists, and a new 8-inch infotainment. Make sure to smash the like button if you are a true fan of hot hatches. Even more exciting models are waiting for you down the list, so do not click away just yet. Let's keep going! Mini John Cooper Works GP Externally, this Mini Cooper might preserve the resemblance with its round-eyed siblings. But in reality, it is assuming a pure racing nature and gravitates towards the BMW M performance models. Expectedly, it acquires the most powerful four-cylinder engine from Bavarians. The 2.0-liter twin-power turbo makes 306 ponies delivered to the front wheels. The mill is connected to an 8-speed automatic with the 3D printed pedal shifters and there is a single selectable drive configuration, the GP mode, that basically disengages some electronic safeguards and passes all of the controls to the driver. This Brit gets a model-specific suspension setup, carbon fiber body components, sports exhaust and performance brakes. It accelerates to 62 and 5.2 seconds, while the top speed is not limited electronically, allowing you to achieve 165 mph on track. Audi S3 Sportback 
Since 2020 saw the launch of the new generation A3 model, 2021 inevitably brings us its charged up version. The new exterior is dominated by a large single frame grille, impressive air inlets, and optional matrix LED headlights. The drivetrain system remains largely unchanged. The 2 liter TFSI, introduced in 2019, is linked to a 7 speed Astronic and Quattro all wheel drive. It peaks at 310 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque, ensuring 155 miles per hour top speed and 0 to 60 sprints of 4.8 seconds. Both body styles boast a lowered sport suspension, new brakes with electronic booster, and either 18 or 19 inch wheels. The sporty cabin houses newly developed sport seats with environmentally friendly upholstery and contrast stitching, a 10.25 inch digital dash and a new generation MMI infotainment. Hyundai i20N The regular third-generation i20 has been a delightful surprise in the shrinking niche of small hatchbacks, offering plenty of tech for a reasonable price, though lacking a bit of power. For this reason, Hyundai adds the high-performance model inspired by the company's winning i20 Coupe WRC rally car. Acting as a direct competitor to the Ford Fiesta ST, the i20N gets a 1.6-liter turbocharged four-cylinder made it to a 6-speed manual transmission. The engine delivers 201 horsepower and 202 pound-feet of torque, transferred to the front wheels. The retuned and reinforced chassis sits 10 mm lower and gets beefier torsion beam rear arrangement. The brakes are also enlarged, while the standard wheels are now 18 inches in diameter. Other notable exterior features include full LED lights, wide grille with unique pattern, new side skirts, and a WRC-inspired roof wing. Would you agree that a hot hatch is the ultimate everyday sports car? Which model of 2021 deserves to take a spot in your virtual garage? Share your preferences in the comments below. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News, like, share, and proceed to exploring new car lineups by clicking on the icons on the screen. We'll see you later.